In this video, we want to look at analyzing information security controls and methods. There's really several control categories. First, we have preventative controls. These controls basically try to stop any attempts to violate our policy. And it could be things like access control enforcement, identity services, AAA services, encryption, authentication, for example. Usually, preventative controls are going to directly focus on our risk or directly countermeasure our risk. A detective control is basically a warning. You're looking for some evidence, an indicator of compromise, an indicator of attack, an attempted violation of your security policy. And this would include things like audit trails, logging, intrusion detection systems, both physical, like closed circuit television, alarm systems, even down to checksums on frames and on transfer of data files. Corrective controls is a remediation, okay? It is a after the fact reaction to an impact. So backup and restore procedures are corrective. For example, if you get hit with ransomware, you'll do complete restoration from your backups. That's a corrective measure, a corrective control. Basically recovery mechanisms and of course, after the recovery, we want to implement other types of controls so that it doesn't happen again or that, that we lower the impact next time it occurs. A compensating control is typically an internal control that's reducing risk, reducing the risk of existing or potential vulnerabilities. For example, errors, omissions, human error, misconfiguration. Compensating controls, like corrective controls, are going to focus on addressing impact. A deterrent control is a warning. It could be a sticker on a window. It could be a sign on the fence or a sign in the yard or in the building. You want to deter a potential compromise. It could even be a warning banner that comes up when someone tries to access a system through some interactive graphical interface or command line interface. Maybe offering rewards for information on inside hacking. With deterrent controls, we're directly addressing threats. There's an effect, okay? We have these different control categories, but there's a process here. So our threat agent or threat actor is actually going to create the attack, the exploit, the malware, and that attack is going to take advantage of a vuln or a vulnerability or weakness, and that results in impact. So a deterrent control would reduce the impact or the likelihood of an attack. A compensating control would also reduce the likelihood or the occurrence of an attack. A corrective control is there to decrease or lower the impact that resulted in the vulnerability. A preventative control also reduces impact. A preventative control protects vulnerability. And the detective control will either discover the attack and also trigger an alert to send input to the preventative control, which can protect vulnerabilities and reduce impact. In this video, we looked at analyzing information security controls and a methodology.